Hi, this is Deborah Atkinson, and this is your five minute warm up. So, this could also be a warm up that goes right into cardio. In fact, you could do these five minutes, and I'm going to show you a move a minute and how simple it is to fill 20 minutes of cardio if you wanted to by repeating this five minutes each time getting a little bit more intense. So, as you watch the first time, I'm going to be doing things pretty evenly, moving back and forth. The second time, if I were going to go through it for more of a workout, I would be adding more arms, bigger arm movements. The third time, I do more arm movements and raise and lower my center of gravity, which is right here for most of us, somewhere between the nose or and the knees. So depending on how you carry your weight, the idea is you're going to go down and up, you're going to flex a little bit more to make it more work or even hold it down some and vary up and down other times. So let's go. You can use a clock or you can trust me, either one, but what I'm going to do is recommend you put on your music. So I'm not going to play any. But what I want you to do is as I play the background music, if you don't love it, let me know it in the comments and then I'll only do voice next time and you can put your own music in there. So here we go. First minute, easy side step. Just gonna find a spot and I'm outside because it's awesome outside, amazing day. So if you can find a spot to exercise and get fresh air, you're gonna kill two birds with one stone. Now I'm literally doing this with you. So you're doing this, right? Not sitting on the couch. You should hear me get a little bit more out of breath. So pull shoulders back, drop your shoulders away from your ears. They creep up there during the middle of the day when you've got some tension. Start thinking about drawing your core together, your ribs and your hips. If you arch your back, they're being pulled apart. So you wanna make sure that your ribs and hips have the same distance in the front and in the back between them. So you're not arching. You're also not tucking your pelvis under. It's just neutral, nice and easy. So you're getting close to about one minute. So we're gonna change things up. Here's one I love. So I'm gonna just add a heel lift in the back. So that does a couple of things, depending on what you've been doing. You may feel a stretch through your quadriceps, the top of the thigh while you pull that leg back. But it also starts to wake up the hamstrings in the back of the leg. Now what I want you to be aware of is that it's easy to go to the balls of your foot and I don't want you to do that. There's nothing wrong with working the calf by doing that. But if you stay up there all the time, you're gonna make those calves really tight. So I want you to come down and connect with your glutes. So let that be your motivation. If you're on your heel, you're really motivating glute work. And if you go to the ball of your foot, you tend to go into knee strain, not even knee train. So you should be getting a little bit more out of breath. Join me here, right? So we're gonna move to a front body move right about now in your third minute. Just gonna add a knee. So be careful that you don't suddenly sink down. You see that? Stay tall, same space here ribs and hips with knees. So in your living room, this doesn't take very much space at all. You can live in a studio apartment and get a great warm up or good cardio even. So notice this is low impact. I'm just stepping. It's nothing more than if you were walking, but if you start adding both arms, that would start to be a lot of work. And you can hear breathlessness building up right here. Plus I'm getting a little fatigue from the bike ride I had earlier, probably <laughs> full. And you're gonna go about 10 more seconds and then we're gonna switch moves. And it doesn't matter. You don't have to get really creative, but it does help to use the body in different directions. So I'm gonna lift. So sideways, we don't move that direction very much anymore. When we were kids and we played, we did. If you do a lot of dancing, and maybe you do shuffle side to side, maybe you play recreational basketball, or you do some tennis or racket sports, 
you probably do more than other people do. <laughs> but to strengthen the side of the hip, the glute, and the body, it's nice to do a little bit of this. So right now it's just teeter-totter, kind of a pendulum without a jump, still getting me a little bit more breathless, heavy breathing with you, get, and you're almost there. And we just have one more minute, so it's dealer's choice. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I have a favorite. I'm gonna add those heels back again. And then I'm gonna make it a little bit more fancy and go single, single, and a double. Single, single. When I'm on this double weight-bearing leg, I'm gonna make sure that this heel stays down. Good, and I can make those arms bigger by taking them up and down instead of side to side. So I just threw in an anomaly there on that double, single, single, and double. And who's watching? Who cares, right? It's your living room. One, one, two. Good. So you can also get low and really load the glute that you're standing on. Core is nice and tight. Careful when you're pulling things behind you, we tend to open this core. So keep it tight and engage. And you're almost there. And that is five minutes of cardio or five minutes of a cardio warm up. And you're either ready to go to weights or ready to push, rewind, replay, and you do everything I just did bigger. Let me know how you like it.